Tasty Wally. Brought to you by Chattuck Product, Nariel Coconut Cooking Oil, Eve Evaporated and Condensed Milk. Hi, I'm Sidhi Sanka and welcome to Taste Diwali. Today we're making Fira. First, we have one cup of flour to which we'll be adding enough water to form a stiff dough. This is the first step to making Fira. When our stiff dough is formed, we allow this to rest for just about one to two minutes. And then we get something looking like this. Essentially, it's a very simple roti mixture, which we turn over onto a floured surface. We roll the dough and put it onto our griddle or our tower. This dough should be about one quarter inch thick to provide enough body for our second step. We place this onto our griddle very simply and easily. Allow it to cook until solid. When our dough begins to cook, we're going to flip this to ensure that it does not get any color or any burnt spots. This should take about two to three minutes on each side. At this point, we take our roti off the tower and onto our work surface and allow it to cool for two to three minutes until we can handle it. And here I have some preheated nariel coconut cooking oil in which we are going to fry our roti pieces. To create these pieces, we simply cut our dough into strips using a serrated knife very quickly and carefully into about one inch pieces. This allows for equal frying of each of our pera pieces. We separate each and place them into the hot oil until golden brown. We try to avoid our pera from attaining too much color in the frying process. Removing these bits from the oil, we allow them to drain and cool. When our bits are finished frying, they should look like this. And it's at this point, we allow them to cool and we process them in a traditional dal mill or a food processor. To our pair of flour, which is also readily available at the little store, we're going to add some chatak ground elaichi some ghee, which is clarified butter. This will add elements of fat and flavor to our pira, as well as one tin of Eve condensed milk. Our condensed milk will contribute to the creaminess of our pira, as well as our sweetness. Here we have our simple syrup of two and a half cups of water to one pound of sugar, which we boiled until a string was developed. Now we're going to add this to our bowl with our mixture and using a mixer, we'll incorporate everything together. On a slow speed, we'll start. The aim of this step is to ensure that we have a smooth batter. Our mixture is hot and we're going to transfer this into a greased tray to our desired thickness. Very simply and easy. We allow our pira to rest for about 30 to 40 minutes until it's perfectly set. Be sure not to move it so that it's undisturbed. So our pira has set and it's a solid mass inside of our dish. What we're going to do is simply score it and then cut it and take them out individually. But once the first one comes out, all others after that are relatively easy. And there we have it, pira, especially for Diwali. Tasty Wally, brought to you by Shatter Product, Nariel Coconut Cooking Oil, Eve Evaporated and Condensed Milk.